animals suffering. Tin Tampa Bay's Eric Glasser looks into it and has response from the sheriff's office that oversees the facility. Well, Natalie Scott, who considers herself an animal lover and advocate, says she visited the Polk County Animal Shelter here in Winter Haven just before the July 4th holiday and has now been back twice since then. Worried, she says, about the cats and kittens here. And based upon the response to her social media post, others share that concern as well. I've never seen anything like that, ever. Natalie Scott says she wanted to cry when she took these photos of cats and kittens at the Polk County Animal Shelter. The first kennel I saw was about five kittens. One of them looked dead. They were completely covered in filth and feces. No water. Scott began snapping pictures of what she described as sweltering conditions. The felines inactive, lethargic. She says shelter workers would not let her take photos in other parts of the facility, which she described as even worse than what she could document. You see glazed over eyes. You see cats panning, can barely breathe. It's just, it's horrific. Scott says she posted the pictures she could take on her own social media pages. Images quickly shared by animal rights advocates. It's not just a couple of crazy cat ladies. This is bigger than, you know, I expected. I originally took those pictures just to put in my cat group to be like, dear God, this is what I saw today. I had no idea it was going to spread like fire. We reached out to the Polk County Sheriff's Office, which operates animal control. The building, they say, has never been air conditioned, but there are fans in the kennel hallways to keep animals cool. In a statement, the Sheriff's Office in part called Scott's Post lies and complete fiction. Animals at the shelter, they say, were not and are not in distress. At least one person commenting on Scott's post said that they had in turn reached out to PETA, which promised to look into it. Scott says she has also heard from animal rescue groups willing to adopt some of the animals, while others, she says, are now planning an organized protest. In Winter Haven, Eric Glasser, 10 Tampa Bay.